stay in the annuity man. America's annuity agent, licensed in all 50 states, and yes, that includes yours. And you're saying to yourself, why in the world is he wearing shades? That's a good question. And here's the answer. It's because my video chicks that produce this say, you have to do like this rap thing. You know, this isn't good. This isn't going to end up good. So hang in there with me. We are going to talk about annuity death benefits. It's worth doing that because why death is a good business, right? No, that's not funny. I'm going to do a rap thing right now. I'm going to get in character. I'm going to wrap it out. It's going to be bad. So just hang in there with me. But it was requested. They said, hey, you've got to do it. So here we go. All right. Wait a minute. Do I need like a backbeat? Do I need a backbeat? Do I need a backbeat? <laughs> Will do not might do is the game. Stan the annuity man is the name. Contractual guarantees are all in the plan. Where do you find the best quotes? Stan the annuity man. Ha! Ah, how about that? Drake, all you players out there, 50 cent. Stan the annuity man. Let's talk annuities. Let's hear some music, and then I'm going to come back and talk about annuity death benefits. Go. Okay, if you survived that, I mean, if you, you're like, oh my gosh, if you didn't just leave the channel then, I appreciate it because I got double dared into rapping about annuities. So then the next thing is they're like, my video checks on the back. Okay, the, you have to do that every time. Uh, no, but I will mix it into my videos. And since I'm doing one video a day, heck, you'll just have to subscribe, right? To see when I'm going to wrap it out again. That was just some bad white boy stuff right there. You have to admit, nod your head, producer. Did the best I could. You know, I blame my parents and their lack of rhythm. Anyway, let's talk about death benefits. That's kind of a nice segue, right? Annuity death benefits. How do they work? Why does it matter? It does matter because um, annuities are contracts and you can set up those contracts so that death benefits can go to your list of beneficiaries of the policy. And oh, by the way, you can change those beneficiaries of the policy at your leisure anytime you want. So if you have a kid that makes you mad and drops out of college and doesn't do anything, you're gone, you're off the policy or you put them on the policy because they did drop out of college. Life insurance companies issue annuities. So you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, Stan, Life insurance companies, when I buy life insurance, that death benefit is tax-free lump sum to my beneficiaries, passes outside of probate, as I tell everybody. Life insurance is the best return on investment you'll never see because you're dead. I mean, stay in the annuity, man, because I live this crazy lifestyle, flying all over the place, flying to these exotic places to film these um, videos. So if my Learjet hits the mountain, no, I'm not flying a Learjet, but if my Learjet hits the mountain and I die, that life insurance is going to go lump sum tax-free to my beneficiary, my wife and my kids, and they're going to be happy, happy, happy. They'll cry for a little bit and they'll be happy. But life insurance companies issue annuities. So how do annuities death, ben death benefits work? Those don't pass tax-free. Even though life insurance companies issue annuities, the death benefits with annuities do not pass tax-free. Now with life insurance, you have to go through underwriting and blood tests and all that stuff. And I always say to people, you know, life insurance companies, they want to insure really healthy people, <laughs> right? But with annuity death benefits, you can do that. If you're that person out there that's smoking Lucky Strikes and, you know, eating, you know, pork all day long, I love pork from the South, and you're, you know, you're drinking Jack Daniels, you're just living life like a crazy person. First of all, good for you for being a goal setter, but you're not going to get life insurance. So how do annuities play in? There are guaranteed issue death benefit riders attached to annuities. Are they perfect? No, but you can't qualify for life insurance anyway, so stop complaining. So guaranteed issue means you don't have to go through any tests. They'll, they'll issue it to everybody. Now, how does it work? And not a ton of companies do that right now. I think there's probably less than 20 annuity carriers that offer death benefit riders that are combo like income rider, death benefit riders. And they have all different rules and every carrier is different. Of course, there's no uniformity in the annuity industry. Why would that be? That would be too easy. But the bottom line is just conceptually from a 30,000 foot view, you have an annuity and it has a death benefit rider on it that grows by a specific percentage that can only be used as a death benefit. And then that death benefit goes to the list of beneficiaries of the policy. 
typically in two forms, either lump sum or, or pay it out over a five year time period and that typically is the choice of the beneficiary. So that's how death benefit riders work, but if you can't qualify for life insurance, it's not a bad legacy play. Legacy meaning leaving money to the heirs. So let's also, when I get back, I gotta get some water because that wrap thing just kinda, it, it made me dry. I, I put so much energy and creativity in it. I've gotta go get some water. And then we're gonna talk about death benefits attached to products that are already in payment, annuity products that are already in payment form, annuitized. So hold on. All right, so we're talking about death, the Grim Reaper. It's over. Live life for the day. There's no U-Hauls behind hearses, all that stuff. You can keep that one. There's no U-Hauls behind hearses. That means live for the day, player. Okay, let's talk about annuities that are in kind of payment form. You bought an immediate annuity or deferred income annuity or a QLAC, qualified longevity annuity contract, or you have an income rider attached to a deferred annuity that's paying you income and you die, okay? Depending on how you structure that policy, the beneficiaries of the policy are going to get what's left in the account. Remember, annuity payments, lifetime income stream is a combination of return of principal plus interest. So it's subtracting from the policy. So if you outlive your life expectancy, there's nothing left in the policy, even though the annuity company's on the hook to pay. You can structure the policy, customize, remember that, so that they can either get whatever's left in the policy in a payment form or whatever's left in the policy in a lump sum form, either or, you can dictate that, um, control it from the grave, as they say, if you're one of those control freaks, a lot of people are. Great story about that. So a guy called me the other day and he used, him and his wife were you know, buying the, the joint life annuity, single premium immediate annuity, and I said, okay, so what do you wanna do? You wanna put a backstop on it for your beneficiaries? And they had two kids that are just, I call them wondering ambiguities. You love them, but they're just, they got no path, they're not really doing anything in life. And what he wanted to do was make sure that whatever money went unused would go to the, the two sons, but it would be in payment form, not lump sum. As I always tell people, your kids are gonna show up to your funeral in a Ferrari anyway. Why not have them make, be making payments on it instead of taking the lump sum? It's true. By the way, there's some stat I read the other day that, that generational wealth, like people that are rich, it only lasts three generations anyway because the, the, the people that inherit the money blow through it. I mean, I can't imagine my daughters when they get the lump sum from my life insurance and my annuity death benefits. It's gonna be a free for all. I'd just be around them for the party, it'd be great. Hopefully they'll be rational enough and I have, yes, set up some people to make sure that they don't do that, that can manage the money for them. But uh, you, can, you can control it from the grave. You can structure your policies to dictate how you want the money to be distributed and a lot of people do this, and there's some arguments for and against this, they have the trust as the beneficiary and then the trust dictates how the money is funneled out when you die. So bottom line with the death benefits, do annuities have death benefits? Absolutely. Are they tax-free? Absolutely not. Life insurance is the only tax-free death benefit on the planet. But the good news about annuities is you can structure it and customize it to work exactly like you want to even when you're not here, and that's a good thing. Because I'm so OCD about all this annuity stuff and I'm so detailed, I actually did a video on how many beneficiaries can you have on an annuity policy and how that all works and how you should structure it, you know, primary, contingent, tertiary, etc. all that stuff. I mean, if you're really into that, I did a video on it. Of course I did. I'm Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent. Hey, I encourage you to go to my site, theannuityman.com. We have the best annuity calculators on the planet there. I represent pretty much every carrier on the planet. I don't know of a single human being, agent, advisor on the planet that represents more carriers than I do. And why? Because I believe you own an annuity for what it will do, not what it might do. That's the contractual guarantees. And if that's the case, let's shop all carriers for the best contractual guarantees for your specific situation. In addition, let me send you my six owner's manuals. It's five or 600 pages of absolute magic that I wrote for you. I'll send you, to send you those books for free and under no obligation. You just go to the site and fill in your shipping information. One last favor, click the subscribe button. Why? Why not? Why, why wouldn't you? I mean, you got nothing to lose except education. And with that, I'll see you on the next Stan the Annuity Man video.